guys fade here and i'm back with another video guys this is not going to be a factions episode but we will come out with one possibly in the next upcoming day or the day after that but we will see but this is going to be a tutorial video and i'm going to show you guys how to make your own crosshair on minecraft and like how to edit it i'm going to be using photoshop for this but i know photoshop isn't free there are ways illegally to get it free but i don't really get it want to get into that but you could use like paint.net gimp or any other softwares that are free uh, i don't know how to edit it on those i only know how to do it on adobe if you guys have adobe then let's get right into it okay guys so the first thing you need to do is go on your dot minecraft folder and then click on resource packs go to the resource pack that you want to edit the crosshair in so i'm going to be doing my texture pack the united pack if you guys want to get it i'll have the updated one with the crosshair tomorrow Actually, once this video is out, in the description if you guys want to download it. And uh, you want to go on Assets, Minecraft, Textures, and then GUI. And it's actually, oh, I already moved the thing out, but it's this one called the Icons. And just drag it to your desktop, I guess, to be able to edit it. But um, that's how you get it. And uh, I'll show you guys where it's located. Can you guys see it? Tell me if you guys see it right now. It's really hard to see. Actually, not a lot of people know where it is located, but I'm going to show you. If we just zoom in, go all the way to the top left corner, and here it is, guys. Uh, it is pretty hidden. Nobody really could, like, find it. I couldn't find it until I searched up, like, where it was located, and I finally found it. I found a really good video that showed me where it was, and uh, it's right there. It's only a plus sign, as you can see. We're going to change that. You can make it any color you want. But we're going to make ours custom. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it, guys. Okay, guys. So I'm going to show you guys now how to edit this. Once you have your icons on your Photoshop or whatever you guys are going to be using, add another layer right over here. And it should say 0 and then 1. Click on the 1. And then you're going to want to zoom in all the way to the top left corner until you can see your crosshair right here. This is the one I've been using for the longest time. And I actually liked it, but kind of... I kind of want to change it now because it is kind of getting old. And you guys can barely see it right now. So I want to go ahead and change it. I'm just going to put it on black just so you guys can see it. Make sure you guys choose your pencil and then put this all the way down to 1. And then you could actually go ahead and start outlining it. Oh, that's my phone that just went off. This is what my crosshair currently looks like right here. And we're going to change it to something else. You guys could do whatever you want to this. You could change the color of it and keep it the same. You could change the shape of it. Just make sure you know where your center is. So I'm going to go ahead and outline my center with a different color so you guys could see where it's at. And you guys have to know exactly where the center is. So the center is for me is right over here. And um, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get my red color. And I'm going to do an outline just like this. And... It's kind of going to look like a diamond. I'll show you guys what it looks like once it is done in game. And uh, pretty much the outcome of it. It's going to look really sick. And uh, so that's going to pretty much what it's going to look like. Now I'm going to take out the black lines right here. So what you want to do is go on your eraser and make sure it's on one again. And just, you know, do that. Alright guys, so once you take out all the black lines right here, you guys are going to still have the white ones, so you're going to want to go back on your first layer and then take it out from there. Because you guys won't be able to do it from the second one, that's just how it works with layers, so just do that pretty fast. It doesn't really take too long, and um, yeah guys, this is pretty much how to change it. Um, now if you want to take this out, you pretty much just want to do the same. Go on this and take it out real quick, just like that, and you guys could just have a diamond but that's just my preference that's what I like it to be and I want to show you guys what it's going to look like in game in just a bit but I first want to add another layer and it's just going to be in black around it as you can see just like that pretty simple I'll show you guys what it's going to look like in just a second but I just like doing this just so you guys can actually see it in game much much better and just do the, pretty much the same exact thing just one pixel larger let's go to the side a bit there we go now that's what your crosshair is going to look like guys if you want you could do one on the inside too but that's going to be way too small uh, let me just go ahead and take those out so yeah guys that's how to edit your crosshair on photoshop i don't really know how to do it in other uh softwares but this is just mainly the photoshop one and you guys can actually see it now much easier 
and it kind of looks nice. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like in game now, but first you just want to save it as um, a PNG. So click that and then go all the way down here to PNG and then save it and then, yep, save. Okay, and that is it pretty much. Now you're just going to want to add it back to your texture pack and you are done. I'll show you guys what that looks like in just a second. Alright guys, there you have this. So that is how to change your crosshair. This is what it looks like right here. Um, as you can see, it is the red diamond. Um, it looks pretty nice. I do have to work with it and change the colors just a tiny bit because if you're looking at the sky or look, looking at something white, it's not really that visible unless you're looking at something dark like as you can see right here. Uh, you can see it perfectly fine and even on the leaves you can see it really good. But uh, if you're looking at the sky, it's really hard to see so I do have to fix that. But guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys uh, found this tutorial helpful, please leave a like and write it down in the uh, comments below. And also subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.